making my way actually to Rhode Island right now. Um, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I got about another hour, hour 15 to kill. I'm actually traveling with a hypnotist, Chris Jones. If you don't know who Chris Jones is, I, I, I'm actually going to leave his link in my description, in the description box. So go check him out. He's a really cool dude, dope hypnotist, and funny guy. But yeah, I'm actually just going to wait here for him and make our way to Rhode Island. So I'll see y'all soon. guys so I just made it to a hotel we actually uh, got into Providence. This guy saved the day. I don't know how to use Facebook and he's like here 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 and I was like thank you. I was gonna go live with WGN. I didn't know what to do. Save the day. Blog away. <laughs> yeah so I had to help him with uh, Facebook. He, If you don't know who this is this is Chris Jones. I'm Chris. Saved my day. Yeah so he's a hypnotist and he has a show tonight in what's the name of you? I don't know. We're in Worcester or Worcestershire. It doesn't matter. We we're don't on, know. We're two miles away. We're right. gonna rock tonight. We don't know, but yeah. So we're gonna get some food we're right now. All the way to Massachusetts for some Chicago yeah. pizza. Yo, okay, guys. So I hope you're having a good day. I know me and Chris are. Great day. Marketplace. He's teaching me all these new things. Yeah. <laughs> like, he actually didn't have Facebook on his phone for what? Ever or what? I had Messenger, you know, but I, I, I don't like staring at my phone. I don't think it's healthy to compare your life to other people's lives constantly. Right. So, so, so my man here ordered that uh, that unsweet iced tea. We're gonna have some hot wings in a second. There's Chicago Fire, and he ordered the spicy buffalo. Spicy buffalo. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll see, see how we sweat it out. So excited. This is breakfast, by the way. Well, he had breakfast like five in the morning because he's at the airport two hours ahead of me. We gotta get you TSA pre check. Yeah, we'll I failed you. you. you know Everyone at home, get TSA pre check and then know how to do it. Like, you don't take your shoes off, keep your laptop in the bag, you run through the line. Like, if everything's in your coat, so your keys, your wallet, your cell phone, coat's off, 
and you just go through the line. That's it. Like everything just goes through the X-ray. I know I did one experience when I went to uh, when I was coming back from LA. My I didn't know this, but my uncle booked it through like a uh, military travel thing, mm -hmm. and they gave a TSA pre-check. So it was me and my mom, and we like we were at the airport like two hours early, and we blew through the line. We were like. Now what do we do? Like, yeah, so it was crazy. And my buddy uh, Calvin does it because he travels a lot for work. So, but yeah, we're about to eat, um, but we'll actually see you guys tonight at the show. So I'll be filming over there too. So, peace. Stay classy. Mark, what are we looking at? So, we're looking at Chicago Fire, like bites, chicken bites. We can see how hot this is, and then we got the spicy buffalo. I don't think this is gonna be as crazy as this. So you can, we can smell the heat off this one, though. Yeah. All right. So if you want to start, let's, we have to start low. And we'll go. We high. Gotta, yeah, we gotta start low. And there's ranch for if you um, you can't handle it. Okay. It's a regular. It's a. It's a, it's a regular buffalo. It's a buffalo. It's good. A little smoky, a little roasted flavor. All right. It's about that time for that Chicago fire. I, I'm a little skeptical this is going to hurt. I don't think it's going to hurt. You don't think? I have a pretty good tolerance, but those chilies, though, those those peppers. So I've actually had the B Dubs, the hottest wings on their menu. Those were hot. I'm sure. Oh my god, Out my mouth was burning. Funny story is, my cousin took me to B Dubs. Okay. And but the thing is, he ordered the wings. He wet the sauce first before he ate the wing. Mm. Alright, let's go. It's one of those where like, you eat it, and then it's hot at the last bite, but at the back end. What do you think? Just quality wise, I like this more than this. Right. But Let's let's get some of the green stuff in there. Here we go. That's that's where the pain happens. So let's see with that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. A little bit more spicy on that one. Did I have to just find my name right now? But if you throw jalapenos on anything, it's gonna be spicy. I mean, it. That has my attention. Somewhat. I mean. You're tougher than I am. Yeah, I mean, it's. it's I want to keep the, eating. The heat is in my mouth. I want to keep eating because that's the only way to endure it. Yeah. Right. The heat is in my mouth. I can feel it, but it's not as bad. No. It's not as bad. Oh. I actually like it. So, I mean, this is a good test, but. A minus. I would give it a solid A. Okay. At least a solid A, but yeah. So we're gonna eat. Um, <laughs> uh, we got pizzas coming. Mmm. I'm excited for those pizzas. And then we'll go back to the hotel, take a nap, and then head out to the college where Chris is performing. And I'm filming him. So yeah. Get it. But I'll see you in like two seconds. Yo guys, so I just made it back to my hotel. It's about 2.30 right now, and I'm actually gonna probably take a nap um, before tonight's show with Chris. So, I'll see you later tonight. Let it drop. Good. Let it drop. Make it go up, which is cool. <laughs> whoa, Wait, whoa, now, whoa, whoa. Now, I know, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wow, we wow. Yeah, you're good. What's it? Uh, Ross? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just, this is just.
just me being like. No, 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 no. no it's, it's Mackenzie. Fun. Mackenzie, fine, sure. Like, give. What? <laughs> get down and I actually made it to the college that Chris is performing at. Um, so. And so, we're trying to get people in here and hopefully it will work. We'll get a crowd. They're expecting about 100 people. But for now, we're just going to show, uh, get ready for the show. So, let's do the damn thing. <laughs> Theory, this may not work, because every show is different. This is sleep dust. You can blow it into his face, and odds are good he'll go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> He's getting real close to his danger zone. <laughs> Two people at SEC. SEC. Could you stand up? Yep, yep, yep. These cool people come on these events. Uh, I'm gonna be here. I'm your boy Drizzy Drink. I'm autographing things for these people. Just right. You're gonna get a Drizzy autograph. They won't believe it until they leave the building. Show them a video. Show them a photo. Can I get some noise from Mark V, DJ, and Ann? Have a safe night. Good luck with finals. So we actually just finished with the show. And this Chris. was awesome. I was expecting at least only like 50 people. Yeah. And they had to tell people they couldn't come in anymore because we had fire capacity, which is always a good thing. Right. It's a very good thing. Yeah, so I was pretty happy. I'm sorry I couldn't film. I mean, I was filming this guy. But you can see footage. Whatever he has there. Yep. I'm actually going to post a couple of clips in this video so you'll see what happens but now we're actually at a mexican restaurant about to eat so this was a, his drink of choice don julio with pineapple mine's empty so we have a problem yeah mine yeah it's still there he understands moderation i do um, and I was talking for a good 90 minutes, so I need some liquid. Yeah, He's definitely so. But we're going to eat, um, and that's where I'm actually going to end it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow we actually fly back to Chicago at 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's an hour drive to the airport, and it's going to be there like 90 minutes ahead of time for security. So wake up at 3, I think. And it's 11 o'clock right now. I, I mean, look, yeah, it's not so it's gonna so be We're gonna have a long night. But I'll catch you tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, guys, it's about two thirty in the morning. <laughs> Me and Chris are actually gonna be going to the airport real soon. Um, we got a flight at like five a.m. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna film. I kind of just want to sleep. I only had about an hour of sleep after we got back to our hotel last night so i'm sorry if i don't film but i'll see y'all back in chicago peace <laughs>
what's up? So I just got back about 45 minutes ago. So it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to actually get home from the airport because there was hella traffic. So right now I'm actually just going to chill, probably take a nap because I'm so freaking tired. I only probably got about two, two or two and a half hours of sleep. So yeah. And then probably just work on videos the rest of today. So I'll catch y'all this Friday. All right, guys, about 5:20 on November 29th, Thursday, and I just got ready because I have a meeting to go to tonight at nine. It's for Moraine Valley's college's winter dance, and I'm meeting with a couple of the guys: the DJ, violin player, saxophone MC, and drummer. Um, we're gonna find out ideas what we can do. So, uh, I'm not going to take y'all with me because we're just going to basically meet, eat, and that's about it. So, I'm just going to keep y'all here. Um, but, this weekend, I'm actually DJing both Friday and Saturday night at Tobacco Road in Lincoln Park. Friday, I'm DJing 11.30 to 12.30. And on Saturday, I'm DJing 10.30 to 12.30. It's going to be a journey this weekend. So, let's go. Yo guys, Mark V here. So I'm about to get ready because tonight I'm DJing at Tobacco Road in Lincoln Park from 10.30, well, no, from 11.30 to 12.30. So that's about it. I'm gonna get ready right now, but I'll catch y'all tonight. So I'm about to make my way downtown to Lincoln Park where I'm DJing at Tobacco Road from 10.30 to 12.30. So, I'll see y'all there. I just made it to the city. I'm here about an hour early. Um, so I'm probably just gonna chill my car before I have to head out. I don't really wanna go outside in this cold. I'll see y'all at Tobacco Road. Just like that guys, I'm done. Kind of recap the night. Uh, I went over to, of course I had to DJ at Tobacco Road. Then I went over to Drop after I was done. And then went over to Happy's. But it was kind of Tobacco Road, Happy's, Drop, then Happy's again. I left Happy's just right now. So I'm gonna head home. Get some food on the way home because I'm starving. And then, yeah, again tonight, Saturday night, I'm at Tobacco 10:30 to 12:30. I'll see you tonight. Peace. Saturday, December 1st, and I'm about to get ready to go out and DJ at Tobacco Road in Lincoln Park from 10.30 to 12.30. Then I'm not sure what to do after. I might go to the trophy room to celebrate my friend's birthday, but not too sure yet. I'm kind of figuring out where everybody's at tonight, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm about to get ready, so I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Yo guys, so kind of off topic, um, so this like past couple of days I've been on like a military, f like throwback stuff, I mean, yeah, so I've been like looking through old memories and like all my graduation and family day videos, so yeah, but I can't show you like since I like being in the military, um, so I have my flag. Marine Corps flag right here. And then I have this promotion letter um, from, let me see what, 2008. 
And then this is actually when I went to training at Camp Pendleton in California. So this is like my platoon and my training regiment. So yeah. And find me, I'm actually right there. I don't know if you can guys can see that, but yeah. That was me. This was about 2000 and I think 2008. Yeah, later that year I got actually deployed to Okinawa, Japan um, for my duty station. So I spent about, I want to say six, 16 months, 17, 18, I'm not sure. It's been a while. I got out in 2010, but yeah, kind of reminiscing through like old memories and, and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a link below and I'll see if I can put my actual couple of my uh, clips for my graduation in the next video, if you guys like that. So yeah, that's my old memories. What's up guys, so I'm about to make my way downtown to DJ Tobacco Road from 10.30 to 12.30 and I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that but well, as you can see, it's raining so yeah, there's that, kind of hate that but yeah, alright, I'll see y'all at Tobacco Road Yo guys, so I just made it downtown um, kind of just getting ready got my USBs got my songs ready yeah, so do something. It's our 10 30, so. This is about 5.20 in the morning and I'm just now getting home. So that's where I'm going to leave you for this episode. So I want you to keep three things in mind. Stay humble, stay motivated, and stay grounded. And I'll catch you next time.